Hey everybody, The Amazing here, bringing you a review of SHP Guards Kamarada Gito, the renewal version. Uh, if you don't already know, this is the 2.0 version of Kamarada Gito. You'll see so by the Hot Toys like box on the back. Um, with the new Kamarada stuff, at least the renewals, Shukeki Seho, they're giving them these type of boxes. So that way you can you can tell the difference, not between the initial release and now the second renewal version. So, let's get started. I'm going to put my rotating base away. You guys can admire the figure from up close. And immediately you can tell this one has existential quality. It's amazing. It's better proportioned. It looks better. It's actually just an all-around better figure. I'm going to put the box away real fast. And I'm going to take out the 1.0. So you can see the original release up against the renewal. So you guys can see for yourself. So on the left there is the first release, and on the right there is the renewal, and obviously the renewal looks ten times better. Don't get it twisted, the the first releases are still great, but when you see them up against the renewals, they, they stand no chance. Um, it's first release, 2.0. Better proportion, better body, better everything. So, I'm going to show you guys something else real cool. So, as far as articulation goes... Most time, Bandai and SHF will give you a camaraderie figure which has many different qualities as far as articulation. So, Agito has serious ab crunch. There is a feature to pull up as you saw that I just did. He gains height and he gains mobility and it gives him immediate range of motion in the entire waist. Also, the belt is movable so it doesn't hinder any movement as well. The arms rotate back and forth, left and right. The shoulder pads and the shoulder as well rotate on the joint. So you don't have to worry about any of these things hindering any movement of your action figure. The head can look up, look down, left, right. It can go all the way around in 360 degree motion. Legs cannot do a split and that's okay because you still get double jointed movement. You still get ankle and toe pivot. And you can still cross and miss and mesh so your character can get the maximum amount of movement is possible at least humanly possible because the renewals are supposed to take place uh, excuse me the renewals are supposed to be more like a real body sculpture in terms of flexibility so it does everything a, a human body should do sorry so all around it looks utterly fantastic the renewal actually can pop his head off and swap with Agito's uh, finishing head which means he's about to power up and pretty much kick the crap out of you. This head looks amazing. I like to keep it on at all times, but I know I can't, and that's okay. So it looks great. Agito, the renewal, comes with four sets of hands total. Three packaged away, and then the initial closed fist. It comes with... Let me if I can focus. These look like holding hands for holding weapons, but they're actually uh, open, relaxed palms. These are more so the open palms for when Agito does his finisher. And then we have the open palms all around. The really cool thing I will say about Agito and his ball joints is that they actually work well with the 1.0s too. So if you want to mess around with the hands on both, you can. Uh, also, Agito's hands from the 1.0 for the bike for the Agito Tornado also work for the renewal so he can get on his bike properly, hold the bike bar handlebars properly, and still be used. Now, honestly, I am super biased when it comes to Kamen Rider. There is no line in that, but the renewals are absolutely wonderful. They work well with 2.0s. They work well with all the new riders coming out going forth, and they give you a much better sculpted update to the brand new Kamen Rider franchise stuff, and as well as the old. So, if you don't already own this figure, please do. Bluefin is supposed to distribute the U.S. release sometime this month. It may be late because Bluefin has been running late on things. I've talked about it in the podcast. Um, so when you get a chance, go ahead and try it because this, this figure is beautifully done. I cannot say that enough. Uh, hopefully, Bandai continues to put out renewals for every figure uh, that actually needs one. So I'm hoping they do one for Kamen Rider O's. And they finally give us Kiva. They did it for Hibiki, so we'll hopefully get Kiva. This figure absolutely gets a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm super biased, and even if I wasn't biased, it would get a 10 because it's a total update to the Kamen Rider Agito franchise figures. Hopefully more will be following suit. So, 
thanks again for liking, watching, subscribing. I cannot thank you guys enough for that, and I always do appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful night. Thanks. Or day, depending on where you are in the world. Sorry about that. Have a good one, guys.